Dreams are seemingly a part of our nature. See, as far as we know, dreams are very basic. And so they are basic to, to the human person, to humanity. There are always mysteries about them, mysteries about them, because some, some of them are very clear. When they are clear, they are not always interesting. Sometimes they are colorful and very enigmatic. But we react to them, see. Dreams and blessings are not really connected except for... Dreams are also things that happen to us. And sometimes we may make a blessing on it, sometimes we may make a prayer about it, see. What happens when a person has a bad dream? A bad dream may be just a simple nightmare that is not connected with anything. And sometimes bad dreams are very clear. I mean, they speak about a disaster happening to so and so. And I wake up and I'm worried. So, and it happens to many people. So the, the point is, they are dealing with it, even halakhically, because in some terms they say, if you want to, to, to do something to help to help you, the world, for, from a bad dream is first, they say, the day that you had a dream. And they say, because it is so bothering, you can do this fasting even on Shabbat. See? So, so it, has, it has a significance, as, as we call it, in that sense, the halakha is, is, a, is a way of life, a way of discussion of things, is basically everything is included. Everything is included. Now, dreams are a part of life. The dreams themselves are not complete without some kind of interpretation. And every dream has some kind of interpretation. Now, what the interpretation becomes a part of the, of the, of the, of the, of the syndrome of a process, which is the dream and the, the way that I understood the dream. Sometimes I try to ignore it. It's also a way of interpretation. Sometimes I take, I give it too much credence, and I, I, I trust it. So different. So the point is, how much is the interpretation a part of the dream? Are dreams or even visions of the future are they completely fixed, or they are flexible? So the point of the, of the interpretation and and the action. They, they say here, it's a wonderful quotation that the scholar Shmuel, when he had a good dream, he said, okay, it is written in the Bible. That I'll speak to, to him in dreams. When, uh, when he had a bad dream, he says, he would quote, would quote another, another quotation from the Bible, and the dreams are nothing, a stupidity. So, so you, but this, this in itself is also a reaction. It's kind of interpretation. I'm, I'm saying, I, I care only for the good dreams, not for the bad dreams. And they have, they have in fact, there is a, a segment here about dreams. Dreams are not com disconnected completely from real life. Sometimes you can see the connection clearly, but sometimes you can create a situation in which you force it, in a sense where you force a dream upon a person. And dreams are are a part of our, our, our lives, very clearly. How much? It, it depends uh, if, you are, if you are a busy person that is uh, working very hard to gain some, some, uh, some, uh, some sustenance from, from working on the, in, the, in the land, you possibly care less about dreams. If you are a, a highly cultivated person, living in a big city and and having dreams you possibly give lots of lots of lots of what I call income to your psychologist. Mm -hmm. So but basically I'm saying dreams are sometimes dependent also on the time you have to think about that. They say in the Talmud about it. There are two kinds of dreams or three kinds of dreams. They are, they are just simple nonsense dreams. They don't mean anything. They don't need any source. There are dreams in which, as I say, an angel speaks to me, and there is a dream in which the devil speaks to me. <laughs> the point is that they don't sign their names 
to what what exactly the dream is and that is that I have to figure out is it is it is it a, a devil dream or an angel dream or just what they call one of those imps that just play with my mind just because they have nothing to do Jeremiah is speaking about dreams but he says you see there's a difference between a dream and a prophecy a dream should be put in a category in themselves they, they are not the same like prophecy because they are what they call they are rough material I begin to think about what I call about myself about looking into a certain corner of, in my own life which is usually not not spoken about but it is a corner in my life and this corner should be see as say as I said the rabbi is the Talmud deal with human beings from the top of the heads to the sole of the feet and everything in between so that is dreams and dreaming about dreams is a, is a, is a part of all that now Barchot, Barchot deals with with we'll say with blessings and also with with sights the the same chapter deals with sights sights in the, in, in the most of them in the real, in the real way sites that have that have the, the powers of nature things in nature creatures of all kinds how do we react to to the diversity of your of the experiences that we have the idea is that uh, uh, Pharaoh had at least an interpretation that he liked for his dreams Joseph Uh, in a strange way every everybody including himself had a very clear interpretation of the dream <laughs> the, the difference was just that Joseph was hoping for it and they and the brothers kicked him for it but it was very clear. so I'm saying sometimes dreams are very clear and and sometimes as the the, the dreams say of Jacob it's a A dream with a message attached so you have a, you have so to say a dream a vision and and so in the caption that explains you what happened there which is one thing there are dreams that are that are clear enough but but they don't have the this attachment the, the some attachment to so let's say like Joseph you have dreams of greatness even in, in at night and And you dream about it, but you hear something is missing. It's the date, see, and so you have to wait a number of years until until the the dream comes true, or it will not come true in your lifetime.